imagine having having only friends who having friends who I'm working with Arshad who has no sense of humor. Did it sound wrong what I said? No, he does have a sense of humor. Which just shows the Maman has a great sense of humor for saying that. Yeah, he does have a great sense of humor. He laughs at his own jokes all the time. I have also cried once while watching Arshad's uh, when they show you acting replay. Look how monitor be. Look how. You saw my acting. You saw my comedy and started crying. He was thinking, "What's going to happen to this guy? He has a terrible future." I would say what I felt, being my honest self. How do you like the film? I think it was terrible. So I would do that. Okay. Then I was told by this very, very, very uh, profound, intelligent lady of our industry that please keep your uh, opinions, to, opinions your to yourself and be polite. I knew his screening was in the morning, so I said, "I'm so sorry, I missed your screening." He said, "Don't worry, I'll have it for you in the evening." So I was like, "Shit." And now I'm sitting in the theater. Okay, I'm sitting in the theater, and I'm trying to watch. I'm trying to stay awake. Okay, so I'm going like this. Maria's like whacking. Get up, get up! She's elbowing me. And guess what happens? The director comes and sits right next to me. No. He sits right next to me on the steps, and I'm right next to him, fast asleep. Sanju and I were raising funds in KBC, mm -hmm. and uh, so we called up Arshad in London. And said, "Ye ek crore ka sawal hai." Not ek crore; it became two crore. Two crore, jo bhi hai, two crore. Price बढ़ते जा रहा है. Around ten thousand rupees or something. We <laughs> didn't even need his bloody help here. In any case, who yeah. needs that? And yes, then, sir. of course, and let's see. Acha, we are locking it in, locking it in, and galat jawab. So, Arshad abused and abused and abused. Wow! And Because I, I I abused at the situation. I abused the guy who gave me the answer. I abused everybody who was trying to help. No crore rupee. Arsha, Arsha, kya tu ne? Oh, dude. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
from coming from um, this very depressing uh, uh, space of uh, lockdown and all that to suddenly coming to this place to work the whole fear about we're going to start work is everything going to be okay uh, one shouldn't be going out so all those millions of thoughts in your head but fortunately uh, Saul Amazon they really looked after the entire set it was so sanitized it was so they were so careful about every little thing it was wonderful I have something uh, like a small segment for the two of you which is more of a fun segment okay this is called never have I ever These are like very basic situations that you have definitely gone through. I'm pretty sure. Now, if you have gone through these situations, you say I have. If you have not gone through it, you say I have never. Okay. Okay. So I will start with the first one, which is never have I ever praised a film I didn't like. Actually, I have. I yeah, I have, but without going Gaga. So and, I, and my caveat and my caveat is go watch for yourself. <laughs> so so let me tell you. Yeah. So I initially when I came into the industry, I was not very aware of the to be politically correct. I'm still not politically correct. Okay. So I would say what I felt, being uh. my honest self. How do you like the film? I think it was terrible. So I would do that. Okay. <laughs> Then I was told by this very, very, very uh, profound, intelligent lady of our industry that please keep your uh, opinions, to, opinions your to yourself and be polite. I was like, thank you. So I tried to be as polite as I can. Okay. But my friends, I tell them, my, if, if I know them well, huh? like I know some people who come and narrate a script to me or the, my friends who made a movie, I kind of tell them. That dude. After the movie is made, I I try not to be so harsh, but on a script level, I have bluntly I say this is a terrible script. Don't make it. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, the next one is never have I ever regretted doing a project. I have regretted doing a project. My God and how. <laughs> I have regretted once or okay. twice. Okay. <laughs> once or twice, yes. I have regretted in a in a way like. Okay, there are two kinds of regret. Okay? Let me tell you that. One is you started, you enjoyed doing the film because there was a nice company was good, but you knew that, oh, I wish I had not done this film, you know. But uh -huh. you've had a good time because the unit was nice, the posters were good, you had a great time. So I would not call that. That's okay. For me, that's absolutely fine. Some work, some don't work. I don't care about that. That's all right. I'm talking about you agreed, film also does well. And you've had a miserable time. That I can't handle. That is what I can't handle. That I regret. That is what I've gone through. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, like, like Mr. India I vanished from the set on the last day of show. <laughs> it was like, uh, uh, cut. Shot was okay. Okay. Bye. So I'm gone. <laughs> I was gone. That's that's really sad. Because you, you spend a lot of time on a set. Yeah. yeah my I'd rather spend that time, you know, at home with my family. It's not was, because we don't yeah, know. It irritates me. Yeah. <laughs> and even if it's a big super hit, I really don't care after a while. Yeah, really. And this film that I'm talking about was a big hit, huh, by the way. It was a big hit. Whoa. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> okay, we'll not get too much into it then. Nah, let's not hurt people's feelings. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever they've, slept by they've, they've hurt my feelings enough. <laughs> Never okay. have I ever. Never have I ever slept while watching a film. Oh, oh my God! Okay. I have ever, ever, ever. Uh, okay. I must tell you this incident, Paman. Listen to this. You know, Locarno Film Festival used to happen. Yeah, I've been. You've been there, right? right? So I have gone there. Okay, and this very big director. All right. So Maria and me land up in the afternoon. Okay, we were there in the afternoon or evening? Afternoon. Okay, and tired and all that. And his screening was in the morning. So he met me, he said, Arsha, where were you? So I said, sir, I just landed here. Are you missed my move? Like I actually, I had said, I knew his screening was in the morning. So I said, I'm so sorry, I missed your screening. He said, don't worry, I'll have it for you in the evening. 
So I was like, shit. <laughs> so now we have to go and watch it. Okay. So I am tired, and now I'm sitting in the theater. Okay. I'm sitting in the theater, and I'm trying to watch. I'm trying to stay awake. Okay. So I'm going like this. Maria, like whacking him. Get up. Get up. She's elbowing me. And guess what happens? The director comes and sits right next to me. No. He sits right next to me on the steps, and I am right next to him, fast asleep. Oh my God! What are you saying? And, and then I walked out and said, "How did you like the film?" And I said, "The camera work was outstanding." <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue what happened. Oh God! Oh yeah. I have slept many times, Ashad. Once I went, I slept in a, you know, in a, inside a hotel room. There was a screening. And <laughs> slept in bed. You can't help it. Yeah. You're so see, tired. Abroad, it's a problem now because you're jet lagging. Yeah. But yeah. I'll tell you, for that movie, I would have slept whether I was jet lagged or I slept. Oh, not. <laughs> <laughs> it was a sleeping pill. <laughs> Can you show me this film at ten thirty in my bedroom, please? What I'm having a hard time falling asleep. I'm having a hard time falling. I don't want to take any pills. Can you please show it to me at ten thirty? Never have I ever been pranked. Pranked? Yeah, I have been pranked. Baman did it. Baman and Sanju did it. And Shahrukh. Oh yeah. They destroyed me when I was in London. Can you please tell us what happened? Nothing. So I flew from London to Bombay to take part in KBC. Okay, and Sanju and I were raising funds in KBC, hmm. and uh, so we called up Arshad in London and hmm. said, "Ye ek karod ka sawal hai," and um, and you know, <laughs> so so Arshad, they yeah. are depending on you, Arshad. We thought they phone a friend, so he called. No, no, it's not ek karod. It became two karod. Two karod, jo bhi hai. Two karod. Price badhte ja raha hai. Around ten thousand rupees or something. <laughs> and we didn't even need his bloody help here. In any case, who yeah. needs that? So we call him. Okay, so your choices are we gave three bizarre choices of some French film or something. No, 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 no. Who no. were the last people to leave India? And you know, so gave me a bit names. And and I am also thinking. I said I'm trying to. And I've got like a whole lot of people. I was shooting there, so the cast there, was, and everybody's going on. So I said this is the thing. So I everyone everyone answering. This one's answering that. I said it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. So one of the guys was one of those serious guys. I think this is the right answer. I said, really? Okay, fine. And so I kind of gave him oh, the yeah. answer. I said this, and I said I'm not sure, but I think it's a gut feel. And Shahrukh was saying, Arshad, it's too close. Arshad, you cannot mess mess up. You have to. Do. And you know, in this while, I've abused so many times that the whole conversation is in beeps. Oh. And of course, finally. And then, time. of course, and let's see. Acha, we are locking it in, locking it in, and. गलत जवाब तो अरशद अब्यूज एंड अब्यूज एंड अब्यूज एंड बिकॉज आई 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 अब्यूज एट द सिचुएशन आई अब्यूज द गाय हु गेव मी द आंसर आई अब्यूज एवरीबॉडी वाज राइट राइट दो करोड़ रुपए अरशद अरशद क्या तू ने ओह डूड आई एम सो सॉरी या सो दिस गाइस डिड प्रैंक मी वेरी बैडली I think I think I kind of remember this. I think this was yeah. aired also, and I think you yeah, were shooting yeah. for goal that time. I was shooting for goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of us were. I flew down for that one day and went back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I have a faint memory of that. Yeah. 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 Now I remember that. Yeah. yeah that was two years fun. old. It's okay. No problem. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> But yeah, I do have a faint memory. Never have I ever given someone my fake phone number. Never. I've never given my number. Okay. Point blank. Okay, a lot of people actually have. So yeah, that's good that yeah. you have. <laughs> okay. No, you can't do that. I don't understand how people do that because the moment you give the number, that person will call you right there. Yeah, that's a tricky. Yeah, number. Yeah, sir. Yeah. Ah, ah. Look, my number is playing on your phone. Can't. Can't do that. <laughs> Not yeah. possible. Okay. I've not. I've not given anybody a fake number. Yeah, neither have I. I've just said no. I'm sorry. Huh. Okay, yeah, that's a better way to do it. Okay, never have I ever cried on a film set. Not because the the role demands, but like you're just like you have a breakdown. Ah, uh, not on the set, but in my room in my bathroom, I was just exhausted. So it was a, it was that you know that exertion that comes out. Mm. It was that. 
but that i think it, somewhere down the line it has happened to all of us in a small yeah, yeah, yeah. it happens you just get the body just doesn't want to go on anymore your mind doesn't want to go on anymore and they start fighting with each other and yeah. they all start crying <laughs> it happened to me twice actually once we were all uh, we had gone become very close during happy new year those were some of my happy memories actually with a with a with a crew yeah uh, and on the we we were we had all used to get very emotional on that film because we had really become close on that and then when i left a set in hyderabad called uh, weldon abba because i had worked with a great <laughs> sham benegal and i just became very emotional while driving to the airport i got very emotional because i, I knew that this would be one a once in a lifetime experience it may never come again um i have uh, also cried once while watching uh, arshad's uh, when they show you i think replay dikhao monitor bhi dikhao you saw my acting you saw my comedy and started crying <laughs> he was thinking what's going to happen to this guy he has a terrible future he likes me so much <laughs> no no that is true <laughs> no that is true believe me <laughs> oh my god okay so yeah these were i think uh, pretty much uh, a couple of situations that i wanted to see if you've ever been a part of and i think you've been pretty honest uh, yeah 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 very honest yes you you get some incidents so yes thank you so honest <laughs> it gets us into trouble <laughs> <laughs> oh god no i hope this will not get you in trouble yeah, no. but um, sadly this is all the time we had but i had so much fun talking to the two of you i'm really looking mm. forward to as well uh, which starts uh, premiering on amazon prime video from the 30th I want to wish you all the very best, and thank you so much for connecting. And uh, thank, yeah. you, thank, thank you, Shweta. Thank you, so Shweta. Thanks for having us on your show. Lovely talking to you. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.